Hi, it's Strong Mom. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing something fun. I finished my island Fortaleza and it is a mom core spring ish fairy godmother type island. It's a little mixture of all, honestly. Um, you will see what I mean when we get more into it, but I'm excited to show you guys my island. This is the first time that Fortaleza has been saved as a dream address, so I'm very excited about it. The villagers that I have on this island are, of course, me, <laughs> Stitches, Maggie, Puddles, Marcy, my bestie, Anacotti, Petrie, Ellie, Teddy, Bonbon, bon, and Poncho. And my map doesn't normally have this much stuff on it. So I feel really excited that I was able to do a map that has terraforming, it has rivers and bridges and diagonals. It has everything. I think it turned out as a pretty nice looking map, if I do say so myself. There's my dream address at the bottom if you want to walk along with me and see everything firsthand with me. That is it, and let's get into the tour. I wanted to block in my whole entire uh, plaza because I wanted there to just be one way to get through my island, and I believe that I figured it out. So you will basically be going in a giant circle and you shouldn't be able to get super, super lost. I believe that you should be able to follow the path pretty easy, which is unusual for one of my islands. I typically am very scattered. Let's go. This is Puddle's area. She is the drama queen of my island. <laughs> I love her drama. It is so funny. And when I think about puddles, I was like, you know what? She has got to have the laundromat because where else is there so much drama between the laundromat or the hair salon, which I didn't think I could make a hair salon. So we went with the laundromat. There's always drama there. Puddles is included. So we have all the mom stuff over here doing the dramatic fun things, gossiping and doing all the mom things here. We've got it going on at my little laundromat. If you come over here and you have a kid in sports, you can watch from up here, play ball, you can sit down. We've got books, we've got your purse, you're set. Watch your kid play a little basketball. And then we're gonna come back over through this area. And like I said, it should only be one path. You don't need a ladder or anything like that to get through. You just kind of follow the path along and this is the entrance. So here is my airport. And this was one of my very first builds that I made. It is a butterfly pond. If you go stand right here and put on your camera and kind of do the overhead view, you can see that it is a butterfly. I love this build. I enjoyed making it so much and every time I come over here and walk through this area it's so happy and pretty I love all the butterfly stands and the colors that I chose it's just one of my favorite builds that I've ever done I do have a few mom things mixed in like right here we have a picnic going on with the camera and the stool and the toys and just everything that a mom would need and a picnic and a meadow and then I just kind of continued the uh, flowers and things up here above with the trees and the butterflies it's a whole thing if you look back there you'll see the little vintage car I found this code before I did anything and I knew I wanted it somewhere and it kind of inspired me to do all of this I don't know how that car inspired this area but it sure did in that little boat. Both of those items inspired a butterfly meadow. I have no clue how I related those things together. Somehow my mind did and this is what came out of it and I couldn't love it more. I think it's the most prettiest entrance that I've ever made. Go under the pergola and you will find that we have a park over here for the little kids. We have a picnic going on. We have picked flowers, we have the 
basketball that you saw up top here. So we have the ball game down here, of course. And then if you go back here, I don't, I don't do beaches very well. I don't ever know what to put on them. I don't really particularly like beaches in real life. So I just kind of put random things that obviously go on a beach on the beach. It's not my specialty, so mm, nothing to see there, really. <laughs> Over here, I've got a cute little fishing area, a lookout. You can look out into the ocean. You can grab a fishing pole. You can take the boat out. This was one of my very first collabs. I'm going to go over and show you guys. So I did a collab with Amy Slays, and we did a Nook's Cranny challenge where we had to use the items only from Nook's Cranny that day. I got some of the worst items. I believe I got that microscope, the cash register. Um, I don't remember now that I'm looking at it. The video is on my channel, so you can feel free to go back and watch how this whole concept evolved. But um, basically I used those items and this is what I came up with and I actually decided that I really liked it. I think it turned out really cool. I don't do beaches, like I said. So having this on the beach, I think turned out to be really fun and I decided to keep it. Then at the end of my island, when I was pretty much almost done, Petrie showed up at my campsite and she is kind of like a little scientist person or in my story, in my head, I thought, well, she could be the one that's like taking care of all of this stuff. So that way it fits all together on my island. I added a few boats and a few things that would go over on an ocean and covered up the sand over here. So that's my little very decorated sand. <laughs> You're gonna turn the corner. I do have signs out that I'm hoping help lead you. You're gonna go turn the corner and you're gonna go over here and this is also just some random stuff plopped down. I just wanted to put some stuff on the beach. I didn't really wanna decorate it. So I just went ahead and put um, all of the different carnival things. And also back here, you can see the back side of one of my most favorite builds as well, the fairy area fairy godmother area. You can see the back side of that. That's the next area that we're going to go over into. I did a build for Kato. She had a design challenge where she did a mood board and the mood board was like a fairy farm type thing is how I took it. So this is what I came up with and it turned out really cute and I didn't want to let it go. So I worked it into my island and that's how the fairy godmother stuff evolved so this is more fairy farm like over here which i just love the houses i love the big beanstalk and the mushrooms and the moon i just think it looks really really cool it's a really cool place to come at the evening as well when it's dark out it just looks really neat so you're free to walk through here and see all the little stuff that I did back here. But it was a fun build that I did for her um, design challenge. And it had to stay in my island because I liked it so much. <laughs> so come back over the bridge and you can go through and hop down my little channel here if you want. It doesn't go anywhere. It just goes down and back. But if you want to see the different stuff I put on the um, terraforming edges, you can. But basically, it's just a hop down and back little area. It's nothing major. Once you get back to the beginning of the little hopping area, you're going to go over here to the stairs. And this is also a little transition area from the fairy stuff. But Marcy is our resident gyroid daycare lady. I think this is the cutest thing. These little gyroids are just precious. And they the way they move, 
around and then with all the baby stuff oh my goodness I just love watching them and listening to them I just think they're so cute and so putting them in a baby daycare I just ugh, it's just perfect it's perfect and Marcy is the perfect person for a villager daycare or not a villager daycare a gyroid daycare I love it so much look at him he is wild <laughs> I love him they're so fun you guys they're so fun and if you didn't know I left this one facing this way um in the strollers there's teddy bears and normally I make them face the opposite way so that you can't see the teddy bear but I thought you know what we're right next to the fairy godmother stuff and the gyroid daycare let's show off these bears the baby bears and the strollers so we're gonna come over here and back into the mom core type thing I turned Nook's Cranny into a grocery store so I've got carts we've got the shelves we've got sales coffee cakes Nook's Cranny you can go in there and buy things as well when it's open we have all the little stuff from 2.0, the jars, and we have our newspaper stand, and the medicine, and the milk, and the bags of the vegetables and bread. They're just perfect. And if you want, you can walk along and look, but um, there are items in the display cases as well, so you can do a little window shopping if you feel like it. Next up is my tables. Oh wait, actually no. Next up is our little um, delivery area for Nook's Cranny. So the back part of this is a little delivery area and then a little break area for the parents or the workers. While they're working, they can get their snacks, read their books, and then a delivery area for all the vegetables and food that go into Nook's Cranny. And then we're into Able Sisters here, which I also covered up a little bit with the display case and some stuffed animals because it's kind of backward, but I have a petting zoo and wildlife area up there so I wanted Abel's to be more of a um what do you call those a tourist gift shop rather than just clothes I wanted it to be more of a gift shop like you can see when you come out of the aquarium or the zoo you can get your shirt or your teddy bear or popcorn or candy and play the little games all the things that's what I wanted Abel's to mainly be so when you go over this bridge you're gonna see we can't actually get up here, but you can kind of pan up and down to see it. It's, um, I made it that way. I didn't want you to be able to get up here. It's just like a wildlife preserve looking area where um, the pandas, the flamingos, the zebras, all of that kind of wildlife is just up there. And then this is the petting zoo. We have horses, we have sheep, we have a bird, we have a hamster, bunnies, a pig. And then at the top, you can still see the zebras and pandas and all the different animals. And I also really enjoyed using the fence behind and in front of the waterfall. I think that looks really cool. I don't know why, but I was obsessed with doing this the whole island um, but yeah this is my little petting zoo area you can come pet the animals take your kids out on a little outing and pet them and that leads us into the boy scout area the dad core area I like to call it there is all sorts of activities to do here Teddy and Poncho are my guys of the island Teddy's house is here and there he is hello Teddy isn't he adorable? I think he's the best. And then, so he is in charge of all the Boy Scout stuff. And we've got farming. We've got camping. We've got sports. We've got music, animals, mowing, grilling. We've got all of the dad stuff that you can imagine. Teaching the Boy Scouts how to do things. We've got bees. We've got bugs. We've got everything that you can think of. S'mores. 
cutting down trees. <laughs> we have it all. Even learning to do their own laundry. Look at that. Lovely. If you follow the staircase up, you're going to find Poncho, the other guy of the island, and he is a workout dude. He likes to grill, work out, eat healthy. <laughs> He's got all the workout stuff here. He's got a vitamin cabinet back there, the vitamin or the smoothies, the music. And of course, some dads have to bring their babies to the gym. So we've got a baby stroller. We've got it all over here. So Poncho is in charge of all of this stuff. And then he kind of helps Teddy do the Boy Scout thing as well. Love our guys of the island. I think their area is just so fun. These guys have a lot of fun up here. If you follow it around, you're going to see that they that the sign here points this way. So we're going to follow it and we're going to go down here under the pergola and you're going to see the community garden. This is my little, this was one of my first builds as well on this island. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but I wanted to do something different. And this was right about the time that we all learned about diagonal um, trick and I was obsessed, so I obviously had to make my own, and the community garden is how I went. In my community garden, I wanted to have everything. So I wanted to have all the farming stuff. I wanted to have the flowers. I wanted to have the watermelon. I wanted to have the mushrooms. I wanted the gyroid farm. I thought that this was really cute to have a little gyroid farm here. I just wanted all of the different resources that a community would come together and farm. And in my head, it would be everything. So here is my everything community garden. Bon Bon is the main overlook of this, I, or this area. I love when I see the villagers walking around down here. I think it adds to the effect, but unfortunately none are walking around down here this morning. Oh well. I think it still turned out really cool. So you're going to go back up here and down here and around. And we've got a little subdivision area. We have, uh, it's Ellie's. We have Ellie, Stitches, and my bestie, Anna Cotty. She's my favorite. We have all of their houses up here. And I just kind of imagine this to be a fun little group of villagers. They do everything together. They have a little game area. They have a duck feeding pond. They play games with their kids. Signs again pointing this way. Pointing you down and then you're going to come down here. Now if you do go to this area you'll see the three rocks and some empty space. The empty space is basically for my content. If you follow the sign and go this way, this is the entrance to my museum. And I wanted it to be a really cozy restaurant, coffee, sit down kind of place. I put the coffee cart behind us and obviously we had to have Brewster's photo, some pizza and snacks and all the things. And then when you go in, you can go tour the museum, see the fish, see the skeletons, do all the things. I thought that this turned out perfect. I've never done a grand entrance to the museum like this, but these castle walls just make it so much easier to do stuff like this. I think it turned out really good, if I do say so myself. If you pan up, you'll see that this is the school area. I'm going to take you down here first. Again, I just have a few beach items. And over here, I have the volleyball team, beach volleyball, whatever you want to call it. But if you look up here, you'll be able to see my whole school with the school bus in front of it. School is in session. I made my house into the school. We're going to run in here and look really quick. I think it's so fun. I really enjoyed doing the school decorating inside. I don't really usually decorate inside very often, but with the school I did. So we have in here, 
the office area when you first walk in with the office stuff. I'm gonna go to the back first. So this is a classroom, classroom number one. We have the preschool area for the little kids. They have all the fun stuff. Some more of those wiggly gyroids, toys, things like that. This is the library. It's kind of squished, but it turned out really cute, I think. We just have the books, the desk, the work, the computers that you look things up on. I think it turned out really good. Downstairs is one of my favorite rooms. I enjoyed band so much and making this room just made me happy. I played the clarinet so of course when I saw a clarinet and the 2.0 items come out I was ecstatic and I knew immediately I had to have that in one of my builds. So here it is. I wish I could pick it up and play for you guys but <laughs> I can't sadly. But this is my gen or my band room. I think it turned out really cool. I love, love, love band. I'm hoping that one of my kids takes after me and joins in and learns to do one of the instruments, at least. We'll see. But this is the band room. Upstairs is the last school room here. We have kind of like a science area, I believe. And over here is just the teacher's area where they can eat a snack and relax for a second. I also have the bed here so that I can dream and do whatever I need to do. I had to fit a bed in here somehow and that was the closest I could get to a bed looking like a stool or a couch that I could find. So this is what I came up with for this little area. All right on the way out here you can go over here and you're going to see the playground for the littles. They have their toys out. And if you go this way, you will see the baseball field for the school. We have the field and we have a little snack area that you can go eat at. And then if you go back over here, you'll see the soccer area. So we have a little seating area for the parents and then a soccer game place. And if you keep following the signs, you're gonna see some of the nature build. I'm gonna really work on my water terraforming more because I really enjoyed doing more water type things this island. So more to come on that, I'm sure. We have a picnic in the outfield out here. Just so many little mom things throughout my island that he, that moms do on a regular basis, basically. Here's another little picnic area, and Maggie came out to greet us. This is the last build. This is the lemonade stand. You can see the lemons in the background. I really enjoyed this little build as well. I enjoyed this whole island. Honestly, I think it turned out really good compared to other ones that I've done. I think this is one of my better ones. I really worked on being able to do more than I have done before. I worked more on terraforming and different levels of things. I worked on making different illusions. I also worked really hard on making things that would look decent in pictures. I really enjoyed making this island. Mom core is definitely my thing. I am a mom, so that definitely was easy for me. Uh, I didn't have to think too much about it, to be honest. The ideas just kept coming and hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to the Strong Fam, Mom Beans, and Mom Bears for always supporting my channel. And as always, thank you for watching my video. If you want to like, subscribe, or turn on notifications, that would be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!